Tiafimo Lopez got some choice words for Javante Tank Davis. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7 30. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I ask that you join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we do. And hit me up um, if you want to debate. Now I got boxing 86 at yahoo.com. Or you can come by the channel when I'm live. We can get it cracking right then and there. So, Tiafimo Lopez was on the Danza project, man. And he talked about Javante Tank Davis for a little bit. Um, he said that Tank Davis is a two female body part to fight him. I let y'all fill in the blanks. And he dropped the end bomb on. Now he let name Lopez. So I know on the East Coast, you know, sometimes that's cool. I just know down here in the South, we we ain't really we don't rock with that, but whatever. He get away with it. In the circles that he get away with, I remember he he pulled he said that right in front of Devin Haney and them. And I feel like he should got popped in his mouth right when he said it. Then it don't even sound natural when he say the shit, bro. It sound forced, like he ain't part of the culture. I don't know why. Whatever. Anyway, I don't want to start no debate. Oh no, bro. You know what up? So he and, he and he said, you know, you ain't never seen me on no mug shot. You know, he was taking shots. And Tank, and it's part for the course when it comes to Javante Tank Davis. All these guys, all these guys, what they all have in common, from Shakur Stevenson to Devin Haney to Tiafimo Lopez, when they got a fight coming up, Keyshawn Davis, bruh, when these boy got a fight coming up, oh, dog, Tank is the biggest female body part. He a hoe, he a bitch, he all kind of stuff, man. Because they need to sell their fight. Cause they can't sell their fight just cause people want to come see them. Like Tia Fimo can't just get you to buy into the Clash A. The Clash A fight, Claggett, Baguette, like the bread, Baguette. Like you, he can't get you to buy into that shit. So of course, he gonna say shit about Tank Davis. He was talking that Terrence Crawford shit. Talking all kind of shit, bro. He just, Tia Fimo a goofball to me. He can fight like a motherfucker. He, he just a goof ass dude though, bro. Just crazy and delusional. And just say a bunch of shit that don't make no sense. But whatever, bro. Now, I've seen Tank Davis and Tia Fimo share the ring before. And I don't know why, based on they, they interactions with each other, what would make him think Tank is scared of him. Now, I, I saw you in the ring with George Cambosos as well, bro. I saw you in the ring with Sandor Martin as well, bro. I saw you in the ring with Jermaine Ortiz, brother. <laughs> You not, you can only fight going backwards. You can't lead the action. You can't sit in the pocket really and box like that with dudes with any kind of skill. Your shoulder roll is broke, homie. And you are just as likely to put on a Josh Taylor Lomachenko performance as you are to put on uh, Sandor Martin George Camboso's performance Don't nobody never know what they gonna get from you You inconsistent bro So this idea that Tia Fimo got That somehow Tank Davis Is scared of him like whatever bro Now what I will say about A potential matchup between Javante Tank Davis And Tia Fimo Lopez I can see potential super fight And it's not necessarily Because of the star power that Tia Fimo Lopez Brings it's because Him being of Latin descent and people that support him feeling like he got a shot. Tank Davis haters will feel like he got a shot. That fight will go crazy. You got to put Tank in there with somebody that people feel like got a shot to beat him. Or feel like it's something that he ain't seen. Going to give him some issues or whatever. And the fight going to go crazy. I'm on record as saying, and I continue to maintain this. I think Tiafimo Lopez is the only other fighter in Tank Davis's era. Around Tank Davis's weight class currently. Um... Besides Ryan Garcia That'll have an opportunity to do A million pay-per-views Straight up um, Eastside Pitbull Cruz Outside chance But Eastside will have to just Run down on shit William Zapata Outside chance to do really good numbers Zapata would have to just run down on shit You'd have to get Eastside and Zapata To maybe beat a Shakur Stevenson Beat a Devin Haney Get in there with Tia Fimo, BT. Like they have to make their name 
so big to where the fight get that big because since there's a language barrier there, the fight not gonna have a hype. It's not gonna have the 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 um the it factor around the press conference that a Tank Davis and Tiafimo Lopez will have. I lie, Tank Davis, Frank Martin. I lie, Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. I lie, Tank Davis and Shakur. If they fight when they fight. I lie, Devin Haney, Tank Davis win if they fight. Them types of press conferences is gone. That they gonna make some noise. It's gonna be the press conference that keep on giving. Those are the types of press conferences that's live reaction. I'm going live the night of that press conference. After that press conference and watching it live with people, cause you know they gonna be barking their shit. You know it's gonna be some punch lines in there. You know they gonna be cussing each other out. You know the face off gonna be intense. You get that with Tia Fimo. You put Tank Davis and Tia Fimo on the stage. They get the talking back and forth on top of Tia Fimo's skill set. That makes that fight huge. That makes that fight huge because of the different demographic of fans he will bring to the table. They will be rooting for him. The Latinos all have a way of coming together. The Black Americans all have a way of coming together when it's time for a Black American fighter to fight a Latino fighter. That's why you look at history. History is littered with huge pay-per-view fights and huge live gates where you have a Latino fighter fighting a black American fighter. Go look at the numbers for Floyd and Miguel Cotto. Go look at Oscar and Floyd. Go look at Oscar and Shane Mosley. The formula is there for that, right? So I love that Tia Fimo is talking his shit about Tank. I would just ask, just keep winning, bro. Tank will be there at 140 soon enough, and when y'all when he get there, just keep that same energy. Cause he coming to step on shit for the rest of his career. I'm telling y'all, I have been seen to play, I've been peeped to play, I've been called to play. I would just say when you calling him scared and saying he he he's too scared to fight you and disrespecting him being Muslim and stuff like that's cool, bro. Just remember, just like everybody else, bro. You gonna have to stand on that shit like everybody else. Frank Martin was talking that shit. Ryan was talking that shit. Roley was talking that shit. Barrios ain't even say shit. He still had to get his issue, bro. So just keep 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 the talking. I think the fight is huge, and, and, and people will say, "Well, how do you believe that Tia Fimo and Tank is bigger than Devin and Tank?" I think Tank and Devin is Earl and Bud big. I think Tank and Devin is for our culture. The people that look like me, talk like me, like the same things I like, the hip hop, black American culture. Tank and Devin is huge for that. It's huge for that, right? But it's not gonna be bigger than Tank and Ryan was. It's not gonna be bigger than Tank and Ryan too. It's not gonna be bigger than Tank and uh, Tia Fimo, bro. It's just not, and I know that that makes you mad um, if you're hearing that and you're a Devin Haney fan, but the proof is in the pudding with regards to the demographic you need to do dumbass numbers. And Tank Davis versus somebody that's from his same type of demographic, it ain't gonna really do nothing for him in terms of, of, of what a Tia Fimo would do. So um, I think it's interesting to think about this fight. This is one of the ones, I remember Coach Calvin said, it's two people he keeping his eye on. Where he looking at, where he watching what they do, they already study him, that they think could be a tough fight for Tank Davis. And he said Shakur and Devin are not those people. Interestingly enough, I think you would get uh, Tia Fimo is one of them that he might be looking at. Is a potential tough fight for Tank. And the other one, I'm not so sure. The other one, I'm not so sure. So, um, yeah, that's really all I got, man. I just, I want to see that fight really bad, bro. I want to see Tank versus T.O. really, really bad. My order of fights for Tank Davis, 135 since he there, Want to see Loma? Want to see Shakur? If Berenchik still got that belt when Tank get done with them two, then I don't. I ain't really cutting for a Berenchik fight, bro. 
if you don't got that belt and there's somebody that they can sell, somebody that's a that's a um, charismatic fighter like a Keyshawn Davis, then I'm with you, bro. I'm 100% on board with that shit. I ain't got no problem with it. Um, 140, Devin Haney first and foremost. Because Devin, on his, Devin on, on his way to eat number one, eat and, and his way out the, out the division. And number two, I'm starting to get vibes of complacency, vibes of feeling like he made it, vibes of um, kind of taking his foot off the gas of his career and shit. Could be dead ass wrong, so I, I need Tank to hurry up and catch him because I really think we've seen the peak Devin Haney, bro. I think we've seen the best of him. I think we've seen the best of him. Now, I said that about um, Teofimo Lopez, and he came back and, and kind of had a resurgence against um, Josh Taylor. So maybe Devin can do something like that, but I need Tank to catch him first when he get to 140. So I'd rather have that one than I'd have a Teofimo fight. And then anything after that is icing on the cake, real talk. And that's when the legacy really start building. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But overall, man, Tiafimo Lopez out of his mind. He thinks Tank Davis scared of him, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.